Hello everyone, I am Umar Javed, the Partnership Manager at CyberPanel. Today, I will give you a demo on how to install CyberPanel. Let me briefly tell you about CyberPanel. CyberPanel is the first and free open source control panel for cloud hosting which supports open light speed and light speed enterprise. For setting up, managing and optimizing for speed, there is no better control panel than CyberPanel. CyberPanel is a high performance panel designed to be simple and easy to use with an intuitive web interface. CyberPanel development is community driven. You are not alone. There is whole squad for support. Installing applications on your server is very easy. We have single click setup for popular frameworks like WordPress, Joomla, Drupal, Motic and many more. There is nothing better than the LS Cache plugin for WordPress. Caching at the page level and at the server level will make your website faster. Custom configuration enable you to further tune your website. There are no limits on number of installations or number of websites in the forever free plan. You can monitor your CPU, memory and disk usage right from your dashboard. Restart the Lightspeed server or suspend the misbehaving site, you have got all the power. CyberPanel comes bundled with mode security, which is web application firewall to protect your website against online attacks. You can retrieve backups, take snapshots, restore files, or even do routine checks to see if there are any security vulnerabilities. You may upload, download, compress, decompress, edit, and view files with this convenient and efficient file manager along with easy to use code editor. We have a hyperactive community in case you need help. CyberPanel normally comes with open light speed and it is completely free for an unlimited numbers of domains. You can host unlimited domains and work post processes. Whereas CyberPanel Enterprise comes with light speed web server enterprise and it is free for one domain. And if you want for multiple domains, you can get different plans according to your needs. CyberPanel is 100% identical in both variants. The only difference is which web server is running in the backend. Let's move towards the installation. So in order to install CyberPanel, you need these requirements. First and foremost, you need server with fresh install of CentOS 7.x, CentOS 8.x, Ubuntu 18.04, Ubuntu 20.04, Elma Linux 8, Ubuntu 22.04, and number two thing that you need is Python 3.x and number three, 1024 MB RAM or higher. And finally, you need 10 GB disk space. The installation of the cyber panel is very simple and easy. Just follow the instructions accordingly. Step one, first log into your server through SSH client as a root user. You can get the login detail from your web host. Step two, update your server OS first because it updates overall services as it provides much better compatibility. For Ubuntu, run this command. And for CentOS, Elma or Rocky, run this command. Step three, execute the provided command to initiate the automated installation script. This script will guide you through several decisions regarding the light speed variant and additional add-ons you wish to install. For some reason, if you are not login as the root user, then use this below script. Step 4. Select the version of Lightspeed that you would like to use. As mentioned above, in the CyberPanel with CyberPanel Enterprise, select which version of Lightspeed you want to install. If you select Lightspeed Enterprise, please first ensure that you have got the license key. You can visit the pricing page to get the required plan. Step 5. Select services and packages. You will encounter a sequence of prompts offering various options and add-ons for selection. You can choose it by giving Y or N command. Step six is for remote MySQL, which allows you for your database to be installed on the remote server. Step seven is for CyberPanel version. You can choose to install a previous version of CyberPanel or press enter to install the latest version. Step eight is for password. Default password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Using the default, default password is not advisable. It is recommended to set a strong password of your own by choosing S or generate a random password by selecting R. After the installation, you will see the password prompt displayed on the screen. Step 9 is about mean cache. Step 10 is about Redis. 
in memory data structure store used as a database, cache and a message broke. Step 12 is about watchdog kernel. Watchdog is used to monitor if a system is running. It is supposed to automatically reboot hanged systems due to unrecoverable software errors. Step 13 is about installation processing. The installation process will initiate automatically and is expected to complete within 5 to 10 minutes depending on your server's speed. Upon completion of the installation process, you will encounter a screen displaying important information regarding your configuration. You, can, you have to save these credentials. It is recommended to select and securely copy this information to a safe location for future reference. This information is used to log in into your CyberPanel account. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any question, drop it in the comment section of this video and stay tuned for more videos.